today I'm going to show you how to add ID free tags to your um, WAV file. You can also add it to an MP3 file. It's the same sort of process. Um, I'm sure my computer's acting like a little bitch at the moment. I did actually write a plan so that I can tell you what I'm going to say. Yes, you want to add ID free tags to an MP3. You can add metadata into a file, which is important if um, you're transferring a file over the internet um, or you're sending it to someone. You want that data to be in the MP3. When someone double clicks it, it will pop up straight on iTunes. It stores data in the file as well. The name, the artist, the title. You can even put the, um, the ISRC code in there. This is very useful. Why is it useful? It's useful because it's useful. Everyone should do it. There are ways that people can take um, ID free tags off of an MP3. They can take the metadata off the file. Um, we won't get into that. Uh, kind of like security on a file. It's your print on the file. So when it's getting transferred around, that print is on the file. You can say, that's my file. I made it. I've put those tags on there. And now I'm blabbing. Right, okay, so here's my project. First things first, add ID three tags. You want to bounce your track. So make sure you have looped it in the area you're going to bounce it. Hit on file, bounce, project or section. Once you have this window pop up, you can see there's a few different options. Um, there's PCM at the top if you would like to bounce it as a WAV. We have MP3 underneath. For this tutorial, I will be bouncing it as an MP3. I'm just showing you some other options there. So, what you want to do is hit on MP3. Um, I can see start and end. We have looped it where I want it. You want to hit on the right ID3 tags. Once you've done that, click ID3 settings. And you can see here we have all the different options for you. So song title, artist, album, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to whack a few things in there. Um, just so when we bounce it, we can see how the ID3 tag actually works. So yeah, there's loads of things here. Look, you can put your ISRC code down there. I'm just gonna put some gibberish in there for now. You can put your URL in there. So just whack your website in. Um, like I said, when somebody else clicks on this track and it comes up, all the information will be there. So it's good to have this information there. If you're sending a demo to someone, if you are if you want it to come up in the right place in iTunes, etc., etc. Um, I'm going to put an album in there. Yep, that's the name of the album. So, right, okay, so once you have done all of that, um, the bitrate mono, bitrate stereo, um, for enhanced audio quality, that's what I will choose. Um, again, that's a different video. Um, right now, I'm just going to click those options just for the sake of this video to show you how to do the ID free tag. Once that's completed, you hit OK and you will get this window come up. So I am going to name it LED Test Bounce. Once it bounces into its place and you find it on your computer and you double click it, this is what it comes up as in iTunes. You can see we've got the album name there. We've got the artist name. It says unknown genre. That's because I didn't input anything for genre. Again, there's loads of different things you can put in there. Um, it says unknown genre because I didn't put anything in there, but this is all down to you, down to your track and what information you would like to have on your track. It's entirely up to you. Um, but yeah, you can see all the information comes up here, how I put it in. Um, it's embedded in the track. So again, if you put it into another type of player, all this information will come up. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe if you think this is a load of... I won't say the word. Write in the comments. Let me know how you feel. If you think I need to update this video and add some more stuff, let me know. See you later, guys.